School's out, scream and shout! Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I am filming the bargain tack haul and before I get into this video I would just like to say that the reason I'm just in a sloppy joe and not wearing, you know, normal clothes that I'd go out in is because, as you could tell from the first clip before the video started, I'm actually out of school for two weeks now. We have our two-week holidays and I did like, I helped out with this primary school um, gal sport gala day thing, so I just came home and chucked this on, so don't judge. But <laughs> anyway, let's just get into the video. So as you guys would have seen in my How to Tack Up video, I was saying, so whoever guessed first, the piece of tack that was in my tack haul, that was the new item, would get a shout out. Now the first person to guess it right was Equestrian Island, and go check out her channel. She's only posted one video, but the video is quite funny. It's got like horse fails and stuff. I watched it. And it was a pretty cool video. So go check out her channel. And well done, Equestrian Island, for being the first to guess it right. Good job. So I was going to do this item last, but because I wanted to do the shout out bit first, I'm just going to do it. So what she guessed was my saddle, which was correct. I got a new saddle. So this is the saddle. The stirrups didn't come with it, but I just didn't take them off. And it is the Wintech 250 dressage saddle. And it is... I got it from my local markets and as I said this is a bargain tack haul so I'll tell you the original price of it and the price that I got it for but first I'm just going to show it to you so just ignoring the stirrups because I know they're dirty but that's because I already had them the saddle is actually in really good condition and all the leather flaps are really like soft and um, easy to move around they're very very good. Like you can tell this hasn't been used much and been very looked and looked after very well. So there are no scratches. The only little problem it has is this little chip taken out of it on the seat, on the back of the seat. But the tree is really stable. Brand new condition. Like I have no problems with it. And it's it's got the removable um knee rolls so they're velcro so you can take them off and put bigger ones on or just take them off all together but I like the knee rolls so I leave them there and it is in super good condition like I'm going to guess this has been used about once or twice if even that and just kind of been sitting there not used all the straps are great the girth straps there are two of them and they're in really good condition no tears or anything this saddle I checked as soon as I got the saddle okay I got it for $80 and I know like $80 for a dressage saddle is super cheap, especially a Wintech one that has like, you know, barely been used. And so as soon as he said $80, I was like, yeah, I'll get that. So I don't ride, I don't do dressage, but it's something I might want to take up sometime. And it's always good to have a spare saddle. Like this is going to be my third saddle that I've got. And it's good to have a few saddles, you know, for spares. And it's a very comfy saddle just to mess around and ride in, like apart from my all purpose saddle. And anyway, so yeah, I got it for $80, and I went onto the horse and website to check how much it normally is, and this saddle is normally $800 brand new, so $80 for this saddle, but like, that's ridiculous, I got it for $80, when, the, when brand new, it's $800, like, I think that's a pretty good deal, honestly. So yeah, this is the first item, so I'm going to get into the next item. I also got this item from the same markets, and... Because the markets that they're at, like, sometimes they can have really crummy stuff. And sometimes they'll have really good, like, horse riding stuff that I want. Or they'll just have old saddles that won't be any good. But when I went, it was pretty good. So, anyway, I was walking past, um, this, like, little store. It was an old man was at, and he just had all these, like, bits and pieces. Nothing, nothing special. And then I walked past this. And I was like, oh, that's got quite a lot of hair on it. I'm sorry. It's my dog's fur. But... And I walked past this helmet, like this velvet show helmet. I was like, oh, that's cute. And I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's a shame because I don't think my head would fit into this. And I was like, well, I'll try it anyway. So anyway, I went and I put it on. So yeah, I put it on and it was a perfect fit. I know this strap's a bit loose at the moment, but it's just, cause I, just so I could get it on. But yeah, I was 
it was a perfect hit. I was shake, shaking my head around and everything wasn't coming off. So I was like, wow. And I'm thinking, okay, this is a velvet show helmet. And you normally see them for about $50 to $200, depending on the brand. Now, this brand is, um, it's hard to read it. It's, I think it says, it's something Outfitters. I think it says, it's like an HS cough or something. I don't know, it's hard to see it. But yeah, and it has this nice little bow on it. It's a nice velvet thing. And the, um, the vise is really strong. Like, it hasn't come loose at all. And it's been used a few times. You can tell by, like, the writing's come off. But anyway, I'm thinking, okay, he's probably going to be like, yeah, $50. And I'm like, well, I don't need to get another helmet. So, but anyway, I was like, I'll ask him anyway. I'm like, oh, how much for the horse riding helmet? And he's like, oh, yeah, $10. I was like, sure, I'll have it. <laughs> But like, I don't do shows, but I'm hoping to start sometime soon, once I get Slinky up and going, hopefully. But yeah, and I was like, it's always good to have like, a spare helmet and a nice show helmet for $10. So yeah, I got this for $10, which is amazing. And it's a perfect fit, like, how lucky is that? Okay, so the last thing I'm showing you is actually a little gift bag I got from, it was like the Home and Garden markets, I don't even know. But it was like a Home and Garden show, and it had all these stalls and stuff, and Actually, in a few weeks, I don't know when I'm posting it, but I filmed a vlog of when I went there. Um, I'll post it tomorrow. But anyway, so I went and I saw um, Barrel Co-op. Barrel Co-op is one of my local tack stores. They sell all, like, farming stuff, but they have a really wide range of horse tack. And, yeah, so I thought I'd just show this in this video because I forgot to film it in my vlog. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show it. And it's got this, it's this free little gift bag that they gave me. I'm covering the phone number. <laughs> but yeah, so it's Barrel Co-op that just put their sticker on a brown plastic bag. Paper bag, sorry. And what's in it is, you would have seen this at the start of the video, <laughs> little um, bucket hat that says Barrel Co-op on it. So I'm just going to wear it for the rest of this video. <laughs> and then it also came with some seeds and some other stuff. I don't really know. But I took them out. And then it came with a little Barrel Co-op saddlery mug. So it's on that side it says barrel um barrel cop saddlery and it has a little horse on it which I thought was cute. And then on the other side it says just barrel cop and it has a horse, a cow and a like ram on it. So it's quite a big mug and I was like it's cute so I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> so that is everything for my tack haul today, my bargain tack haul because I got something either for free or really cheap prices. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And the next thing I'm going to do is my half pad. I'm just going to put it right above the saddle pad so it's in line with the saddle pad. The next thing is your saddle.